Good morning, artists. This is Mrs. Langless here, and I'm here today to share with you the second step in the process on our name design project. Last week, we worked um, to create bubble or block style letters. Um, if you haven't had a chance to um, create your name yet, uh, go back and watch that first video so you can get caught up to where we are right now. Um, so this is sort of where we're headed, this example of Mrs. Langless right here. This is where we're headed today. Let me show you where we're going to start. So here we are. This is what we created last week. Um, I did Mrs. Langless in block style letters here. And then when we were finished, we traced it carefully with a black marker or Sharpie. Um, so our next step is kind of a subtle one. Um, and instead of outlining individual letters like we did last time we are going to be outlining the entire name and so what happens is it gives the um, your name emphasis or focal point like it draws the viewers eyes right to your name and it also gives it more of sort of a graffiti style look I'll give you um, a sneak peek of where what we're going to be doing first so Here's that line just kind of around, and let me show you how we're gonna do it. So, here's Mrs. Langless again. Um, and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pencil. Remember, you always start in pencil because you can erase, um, and then after, that's when we do the tracing with marker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right at the edge of my paper here. And just like last week, <clears throat> I'm kind of pretending, again, that I have that race car and I'm just driving around the edges of now the entire name instead of individual letters. So I'm just going over the tops and then I can come down into these cool little shapes. You don't have to go all the way down. Um, you certainly can if you'd like to. Just kind of going around all the contours or edges of my letters at the top. So I'm just gonna continue my line and then I'm gonna go right off the edge of the paper. Um, next, I'm gonna pick up at the bottom. Um, so I guess I'll bring it this way this time. I'm gonna come up and around here. And again, I'm just kind of echoing or following the shapes that I have created with my block or bubble style lettering. And then I'm gonna go off, okay? So once you have it the way you want it and you're satisfied, then you're going to take your um, black marker or Sharpie and you're just gonna trace over your letters. So that's the first step in this next phase of the project. So there I have it, Mrs. Langless, it's all outlined and I'm ready for the next step. So here I want to give you something that's just optional. And optional, of course, means you don't have to do it, but if you want to try it, go for it. So um, the next thing I like to show my students is how to make an ooze or slime line kind of dripping down from your name. So I'm going to just give you this example again. So you can see the black outline there that I did hanging off of parts of my name um, is kind of that slime line that I'm talking about. So basically a slime line is really a wavy line here. Let me flip this over and I'll show you what I mean. So a wavy line, you know, is one that has one that has curves. When we do a wavy line, it tends to be regular. You know, it's it kind of goes up and down, up and down. Um, but a slime line is different because it becomes irregular. You know, you think of something that's a liquid and it's... Um, edges are very, you know, uneven. They're not really in a pattern. They, they do things that are really irregular. Um, nothing in nature is really, you know, perfect. So it's sort of one of those things. And that is how you create more of a slime looking line. So let's look at how it works with our actual name itself. So I'm just going to do a slime line here on Mrs. Um, and I'm going to start right about here. So imagine that the slime is kind of dripping down. I'm going to start it kind of shallow. And then as it gets toward the middle of my name, I'm just going to make one, you know, drip that comes down, maybe another. And again, make it sort of random. Um, and that's when slime becomes a little bit more believable. Like, I don't really like that part right there. <laughs> so I'm going to come back. And that's why it's so great to um, use pencil. 
because then you can get rid of what you don't like. And I make more mistakes, mistakes than I like to admit. So I am going to then continue, maybe make some more slime right here. And then again, not a huge fan. So I'm just gonna come back and try to make it a little bit more sort of what I was going for. And you know, when you get to the point where you're satisfied with it, you can just leave it and we'll move on to the next step. So that's the slime line or the ooze. It's kind of fun to play around with. Um, again, totally optional. So don't feel like you have to put it into your artwork if it's just not, not the look you're going for, it's not working for you, okay? Kind of fun to practice though. So the next thing you're gonna do um, is you're gonna do something with this space up above your name and below. And so I'm just gonna take two lines and you can do more than two if you want or you could even do just one line up the middle. I think I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna make a line there and a line there. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing. And I think I'll make a line right here cause that just seems natural. And then another one right here. Now in each of these spaces, I am going to create a different pattern. And if you've been in my class before, you know that the magic word with pattern is repeat. To, in order for a pattern to exist, something needs to repeat. So if you think of stripes, you know, there's a line repeating or maybe colors repeating as well. Um, polka dots would be, you know, circles repeating. Anything that repeats is a pattern. So in each one of these, I'm gonna create a different pattern. Um, I think the first one I'll just demonstrate for you. One of the patterns that I really love to do is kind of this mermaid or um, fish scale pattern. And basically it's a bumpy line. So I'm just gonna make a bumpy line happening over and over here, okay? And then you can come above that and just make another bumpy line. And that's a really fun pattern to make, I think. And it ends up looking really, really cool. Um, and then I would just keep it going until it fills up this whole space. I also have to work the pattern down in here um, in between the edges of my letters, that outline that I created. So just kind of imagine, you know, if you could see behind those, oh, I didn't get that quite high enough. I'll have to come back and fix that with an eraser later. Um, and then I would just continue it all the way up so that it fills that whole space. I wanna show you another really fun pattern um, that actually really goes along with what we've been working on um, with outlining and, and how we created all this lettering so far is that one cool pattern is to just use in more lines to sort of echo the shape. So check this out. I'm gonna make a pattern just by tracing or following those contours again. It's gonna sneak down into this little area. And then I'm gonna make another one. So I'm just gonna keep on going. And going. And each time I'm gonna move closer and closer toward that edge. And it's just a really simple way to create a, an interesting pattern. Um, if you run out of ideas. All right, so you're gonna create a different pattern in each of these spots, okay? They can be more complex than what I've done. They can be simpler, it's totally up to you. Um, and then of course, once you get it just as you want it, you are going to then trace everything with the black marker or Sharpie. Um, so this, is where you're headed. You can see I did that fish scale pattern here, here I did some spirals, um, here I just did these kind of cool lines that followed um, the path that this shape had made. Um, and you can also see that I decided to color in my slime spots um, to make them sort of uh, just really dark. Um, so this is where we're headed for this week. Next week, I'm gonna talk about color. So I know you're tempted to go ahead and color right now. Please hold off until I introduce what's coming next in the next video. Um, it's gonna be great. <laughs> uh, so have fun with it and I'm really looking forward to what you come up with. Um, make sure that after you're finished with this phase of the project that you snap a photo so I can see your progress. Share it with me either on Unified Classroom, on Seesaw or by email and I am looking forward to seeing what comes next. 
All right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day.